I'm Piper McCoy Harmon and I'm on the women's volleyball and women's track and field team. This semester at Lewis and Clark, I'm involved with a couple different musical things. Um, I'm a member of the Community Chorale, which is a like open choir for any student or professor or even community member. So my mom and I are singing in that choir together. And I'm also starting my own choir in Selwood, actually two choirs. Um, it's called Sing With Joy Chorus for middle school and then also just all ages singers. Um, and then the third thing I'm doing is I am a member of the KPH club, the radio club, and I have a radio show, um, which I think is going to be on Sundays called Piper at the Gates of Dawn. I've lived in Portland my whole life. I went to middle school at Hosford, which is in Southeast, and they did not have any choral program. They didn't, um, everything that you wanted to do had to be, you know, like an off campus, um, group and there weren't really any in the area that were accessible so I thought when I went to high school that something like that should change so in high school I worked um, with with Hosford um, before COVID to kind of bring a after-school choir there um, but it didn't really get off the ground after COVID happened so this year I'm starting my own choir in Selwood so it could be accessed by both the Selwood and Hosford middle schools um, just to kind of give middle school students a place to sing and it's no experience required. You don't need to be able to sight read. You don't need to have been in choir since you were, you know, five years old like I was. But it's just a place that kids can go and feel a little bit, you know, less alone in that interest because there's not really a space for it. Community choir is just really such a great, well, like, community. Um, it's it's really low stakes, but we really, we even do like, like really complicated music. Um, we did like a 45 minute song last spring as our, as our big concert uh, performed with the orchestra. So um, the group is really just wholesome. It's mostly like grandmas who bring us cookies every week. Um, and then some students that you get to meet from the grad campus, to the law school. Um, so it just, it's a really, nice community for me to be able to find something outside of sports because um, I really like finding different, you know, types of people throughout campus. And I think a liberal arts school is just the place to do that. Um, and especially last year when I didn't have any way to get off campus, um, having that scheduled time where I could see my mom every week was one of my favorite things to do. Um, we're really close and she had never done choir before. And so I couldn't feel that kind of Pulled her leg a little bit to get her to join. My show hasn't started up yet, but it is called Piper at the Gates of Dawn. So I do like a morning show um, and I'm kind of all over the place with themes. I try to curate songs that I feel like either match an emotion or have something in common. Last year, one of my favorite shows, I did a musical road trip. So um, all of the songs had a place name in them and I kind of map them out so that you could like go from place to place. Um, so I have some ideas for this year um, that I'm really excited about with song names and with kind of emotions. And I'm um, really excited that I'm going to try to interview some people on my show this year. As an athlete, um, I play sports because I like to win, but also I love the community aspect and just being able to do something I love with other people. Um, so. The same thing happens when I sing. So when you sing with a group, you're, you know, there's some science behind it, like your heartbeats sync up and you release uh, endorphins. And it's just a, such a magical feeling for me that's really similar to when I'm on the court with my teammates. When I sing, I use kind of the other side of my brain as I normally do as a, a STEM major. I'm trying to be, you know, a high school teacher. So I'm doing computer science and math and physics. And that's really, I love to do it, but also it can get really tiring. So just having that time where I can just release in a creative way um, is really good for both my mental and physical health. I feel better in my body. It's just like after a workout when you, when you feel really pumped up after I sing, I just feel really good.